Hello everyone, how's it going? Space Mountaineer 92 here. And I'm gonna be showing you guys my 20 gallon long future beta tank. Um, I'm filming this on my iPhone 13 and I'm just gonna kind of basically go through exactly what I did to set this up. Uh, first off, we'll start with the uh, substrate. So I used the uh, Sachem uh, substrate uh, it's good for planted tanks so I use that as the base layer um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna add a top layer uh, I'm still debating about that um, but yeah I kind of divided up the the 20 gallon into a 10 in the center and two fives on the side uh, I am using a sponge filter uh, in the middle that will evenly distribute um, the water flow. Uh, the water flow is actually gonna be just right for the beta, because betas don't typically want uh, high flow uh, moving water. They want it to be as peaceful as possible in their natural habitat. Um, I also got some live plants in here. I know they're a little dusted right now from the uh, clay material, but that won't affect your plants necessarily. Um, and I also got hides for each one. Um, they are going to provide um, shelter for the beta. Um, I'm also going to try to get a few more other live plants to kind of just cover the ground a little bit. I might do some grass or I might do some moss. Uh, I might get some driftwood as well just to kind of fill, uh, fill in the, the gap spaces. But um, yeah, I mean, this is coming along. I've just started its cycle. Uh, it's going to take about four to six weeks for this tank to be ready for betas. Uh, on top, I'm using a 20 gallon um, glass hood because betas are known to jump. So um, I don't recommend keeping your beta tanks uh, unhooded because uh, that could happen. And then I'm also using uh, a 36 inch uh, light fixture. Uh, I have my lights set up for about 8 to 10 hours, which is about the adequate time, uh, normal adequate time you would need for your plants to photosynthesize and etc. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Uh, definitely give a big uh, like and a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Uh, I will definitely give you guys some updates along as we uh, continue to watch the tank um, cycle out. Also, uh, these dividers that I got, um, I got them on Amazon, uh, it, and I believe the company is called Life with Pets, uh, which makes specific uh, dividers for your beta. Um, they come in black, uh, so that you can't, so the betas cannot see through um, when you're doing your dividers. Because I know some some. Uh, some of the products that you find on Amazon, you'll you'll see dividers and those be crystal clear or acrylic clear, and you can't have those for if you're having betas. So um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys liked it. Um, definitely, I will give up some updates, maybe with some more plants in there, more decor, and uh, maybe some top plants as well. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions, definitely put them in the comments section below. I also got this tank down here as well. This is going to be another 20 gallon tank. Um, it's in the process, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I do have one divider in there and um, I have another sponge filter there and I have a thermometer and um, also a heater. Uh, with betas, you want to typically have your water level, your water temperature is at about 78 to 82 degrees. That's about um, ideal temperatures. I'm here in California, so it doesn't really typically get too, too cold or too, too hot. Um, so yeah, you'll want to have that. And then, um, as far as, uh, food, um, I'm right now feeding my betas this Aquion color enhancing beta food. It's pellets. Uh, I usually feed about three pellets uh, per feeding. And, uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.